This mid-drive electric mountain bike has a torque sensor, full suspension, and Samsung battery cells. It's called the Hokie Mustang Premium Electric Mountain Bike. So let's review it. And here's what it looks like when you get out of the box. And one of the most significant features on this bike is the Bafang M560 mid-drive motor. According to the spec sheet, it's rated for 130 newton meters of torque, 500 watts, and a weight of 3.3 kilograms. And unlike the typical hub motors, that weight is not back here in the hub. It's in a more ideal place here in the center of the bike. And also, unlike hub motors, all of the power is sent through the chain ring through the chain to the gears so you can change what kind of torque you're actually getting. In general, mid-drive motors are really good for torque, hill climbing, mountain biking, popping wheelies. I'll show you here more in a few. There is a full suspension electric mountain bike on a linkage. So this coil rear shock utilizes this pivot to get a little more leverage out of it. Spring rate on the coil is 850 pounds per inch. And on the other side, we do get an adjustment, probably for the rebound. You can also adjust the spring here, rotating this. And the battery resides in here. Pokey. Hopefully it's not pokey. Take a look at the front suspension in a few, but let's get this battery out first. Different battery than typical. Check this thing out. So it's got a frame match color here and then uh, just like the shape and stuff of this is a little bit different than typical. And it is a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery containing 720 watt hours of energy. How long does it take to charge? Well, it depends on what kind of charger we got. Oh nice, three amp charger. So if you ran that 15 amp hour battery down to zero, it would take you about five hours to charge it from empty to full, 15 amp hours, about by three amps. Pedals are metal and they have some metal cleats on there, thoughtfully designed to grip into your shoe. Keep away from your shin though. And unlike a lot of the bikes I review, this one, the pedals are actually gonna be kind of important because it is a mid-drive and it has the Bafang torque sensor on here. What a torque sensor means is it will give you power in proportion to how hard you press on the pedals. And I have found these Bafang mid-drive, in particular, torque sensors to be pretty good. So I'm excited to try it. Seat is definitely mountain bike style. There's the shape for it. Feels pretty nice to the touch. It's got a quick release for easy adjustments. Does not appear to have a dropper post or anything super fancy. We'll be rolling on a hokey display made by Gemma. Which speaking of Gemma, we do get Gemma hydraulic disc brakes. Rotors are 180 millimeter and a little sensor back here for our speed. Same exact 180 mil rotor on the front wheel. Also, we will have a through axle, which is ideal. A little bit more sturdy, robust for off-roading. Tire size is 27.5, also known as 650Bs in the mountain bike world. 2.8 inches wide knobby tread for some off-roading. Brand is WD. Is that whistling diesel? Somewhat interesting stem. Not sure I've seen one like this before. I wonder what those holes are for. Handlebars will have a slight rise. Hand grips are rubber and round. There's the controls. Little bell. Gemma hydraulic brake levers. And there will be eight speeds on the Shimano shifter. Along with, heck yeah, quarter twist throttle. So sometimes these mid-drive motors will not come with a throttle at all. Super pumped to see this. Front suspension is SR Suntour XCM34 Boost. Not sure what all that means. There is the preload on the left. So we'll check it out. Here's how that works. Pretty clean. And as mentioned, it has a through axle. Suntour through axle. Speaking of weight, let's see what the scale has to say. Battery weighs in at 8.4 pounds. And let's see what the bike weighs in if I stand on the scale holding it. 251.8 minus 251.8. 8 minus 196.2. 62.6 pounds without the battery plus 8.2 for the battery. So that's 70 pounds on that. Let's drop that battery in. And let's peel off the protector and power this thing on. Hokey. Display is color. Looks like we got some different modes. We're in class one, sport, odometer, assist. Looks pretty clean and large. Let's try the button. One thing that I really like about this particular mid-drive bike is it has a throttle on it. A lot of these mid-drive bikes don't have a throttle at all, but not only does this one have a throttle that works up to 20, it will actually work up to 28, which I feel like that is pretty darn uncommon to see on a mid-drive electric.